All right, man, Victor Oladipo. Um, there's an article on Yahoo Sports saying that the Indiana Pacers may deal Oladipo in the near future because of the cap situation where they paying, they just extended Sabonis. Uh, Turner making big money to pay Brogdon big money to uh, get a sign and trade deal from Milwaukee to Indiana. Lamb and TJ Warren making around $10 million a season. So they may have to trade Oladipo or trade some of those assets to keep Oladipo, who's making $21 million going into a final season next season. So let's talk about it. We'll be back. Mercy Spurs talking in the building. Should the Detroit Lions looking to – Detroit Pistons, excuse me, looking to get in, uh, Victor Oladipo. And I think that would be a nice little – Nice little gift for them if they can get a little depot. A lot of people saying if they get the five, fifth or fourth or sixth pick, should they trade it for a little depot? They probably would have to trade Luke Kennard with them and probably some, you know, with them. But, you know, Ola Depot would be a good piece for the uh, for the Pistons, you know. But the issue is, will he return from that gruesome leg injury? You're taking a chance on him, and then you have to extend him once you get here, you know. And you hoping that by the time they're willing to trade him, you know what I'm saying, that he will show flashes that he is back. And if he show flashes that he is back, Indiana probably going to keep him and try to move Turner, Warren, and Lamb. So if they can't move those guys, then they may just say we have to trade Oladipo and move him while we can. And, you know, if you able, if you can get him right now, you know, good. You know, if he can get a playoff run going, he can show, and they come back and they do a playoff and whatever they trying to do it as, Walt Disney World or Walt Disneyland is where they talking about finishing the season out at, and you see all the deep on the playoffs and he balling or you see promise, then you probably take that chance at the season end of the day. Um, do you take a chance with the fourth or fifth or whatever pick you get and just say, I just believe he'd be able to bounce back from this egg injury and pay him big money. Then that's the issue because if you can't see him play or, you know, he don't bounce back from the leg. Now you about to max this guy out and he ain't that good, you know, because of the leg injury. But if they resume the season and, and, and then, you know, he balling out, and then, you know, they want to trade a draft pick and a couple players for him. You know, I'm not opposed to it. He'll all-star. The issue is Indiana will be trading him in a division. That's the issue. Indiana will be trading him in a division, not just the conference, in a division. And do they want to see Oladipo four times a year is the question. And usually healthy superstars like Oladipo, all-stars like Oladipo don't get traded. But they're in a unique cap situation. But I think it, it'll help if you're able to draft a – a Lamelo or Cole Anthony or Killian to play next to Oladipo, then you changing it. You already got Christian Wood. You got Blake Griffin there. If he can come, become healthy or give you something, then it's a nice little come up. So I'm not opposed to it, but you know it's a it's a unique situation. I think Indiana finds a way to probably move Turner and move Warren or Lamb with them and keep Brogdon and Oladipo in the backcourt because that's one of the best defensive backcourts you know in the league. But the Pistons should you know you know look at it. you know if you get a top five pick. You know, as long as it ain't number one and number two, unless you rate some, unless you don't rate rate a player high enough, you get in that five, four, six range, seven range. Maybe you could trade that pick along with Luke Kennard, you know, for Victor Oladipo. You know what I'm saying? So that's something to look at. The only guys I wouldn't trade is Sayoko. I wouldn't trade Wood. Uh, those are two I wouldn't trade. But if you could trade Luke Kennard over there, who making peanuts compared to the 21 million that Victor Oladipo making, sounds like a game plan. So you know, I like Oladipo way over way more than Fred Van Fleet. And we kind of get into Fred Van Fleet and free agent spotlight. Some fans want Van Fleet. I don't. I think the, the the Pistons need to go longer, more athletic, younger. And I just think Fred Van Fleet is, is just fit, fit perfect in Toronto because he's just a perfect fit there. So this is my humble opinion on it, man. But let me know what you guys think about the Pistons possibly acquiring Victor Oladipo um, if he becomes available. And I'll link that Yahoo Sports article in the description. Let me know how you guys feel. I'm on Twitter, Facebook. I uh, we'll email you, or I mean, I would tweet you back, or you can DM me or whatever if you got business questions, quality response, your video requests. Instagram, I'm on the left. Facebook, I'm kind of on there. I'm kind of not on there. But all the links there, Twitter's the fastest way. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal in the description. You know, best way to donate personally is just to share the video one time for the one time. Motor Street Sports Talk, we go.